All right, we'll try. We opened the gate yesterday beautifully, didn't we, Missy? We opened that gate and there was no issue whatsoever. Good, good girl. We'll do it again today. There we go. Good job. Great job. Awesome. Good job. There we go. And she says, oh yeah, I'm out where they all are. This is good. <laughs> go for a wander over here. Good girl. So I like to take things a little slow. I know you can see them. Now the electric, in, the electric fence is on. I might just get you to close that gate up so the other guys can't come through if you don't mind. Thank you. knows maybe I'm not an equestrian maybe equestrians are all dickheads maybe they're all just rich people with too much money they don't give a fuck about their animal who knows we have got the happy hopper right there and she's gonna try and go around happy hopper and she's listening lovely got my leg aid happening good girl and we'll go just for a wander yeah, I know, there's lots of stuff that's happened down there, Elle. It's a bit different, you can see it's different. They've cleaned it all up and it's a bit more open now. Good girl. Great job. Good girl. Nice job. Good work. You're actually being um, very attentive with your ears and listening in the right way. that was they waved somebody beautiful Trot. I won't do too many Nelly went, I did a half-hearted ask then, and she went, no, nah, not going to do it. Oh, that didn't go so well. Oh, she's going to try and knock the barrel over. <laughs> this is what she does. Okay, so wool. Just wool. Just wool. It's alright. Good girl. Just relax. Good girl. Good job. I'm a little bit nervous because these guys over here are there. I and mean, they're not doing anything. She's calm, but I'm just like a little bit worried about that. Good girl. I'm just worried about it, but I'm going to push through and ignore what I'd like to do is just see if she'll give me if she'll she'll listen to my seat and give me a little canner nah she doesn't want to it's because I'm pulling back I'm pulling back I'm not relaxing I'm not relaxed I'm trying to push myself but it's not working I'm not relaxed. Hup. We got a half-hearted one. 
not full. Good girl. Good job. Yep. Doesn't want to canter. So she might be just not wanting to. Well, there could be something going on there. She did canter on the lunge earlier. She, I couldn't see any soreness or anything, but... I think it must be, it's probably me. She's probably just, no, I don't want to do what you're asking. Good girl. And I am nervous right now. Enter. No. No, we're not going to get one today. That's okay, we don't need to. <sighs> Think what it is. She feels like I'm, st I'm stiffening at the moment. I'm actually quite sore from doing the barrels, uh, the um, bales of hay. So I think what she's doing is she's reading my language and she's going, uh uh, you are so not ready to do this. There we go. Oh, so she's right because um, she's right. As soon as she went into that canter, I completely freaked out. She did what I asked, but then I freaked out. She's, yeah, she's absolutely, she's reading me like absolutely beautifully. She, she really is. Whoa, whoa, Bubby. Good girl, thank you. She's actually looking after me. It's good because I'm, I'm very sore. Good job. Yeah, see, she's, she's definitely interested in what they're up to. She's like, you guys, what are you doing? Where are they? What are they up to? And for me, this is, um, yeah, they've, they've alerted to her now. The mare over the back's alerted and the young, young fella's alerted. And there's a big caravan that's just pulling over over there. They might get out and do something and she might freak out. Who knows? Yeah, she wants to go out there and she's getting sick of doing work in the yard. And I don't blame her and she really needs a break from that. So the sooner I can get my mate out to uh, take her out, which I'll probably get him over the next couple of days to come out and take her out. And yes, you want your horse to listen to you and go where you want, to, want them to go. But at the same time, with a young horse, you've got to make sure that you don't put too much on them too quickly for too long. Because then if you go push too far, you may just push it so far that then a, a you know, catastrophe happens and um, they just lose it. Because she's the sort of horse She'll be very quiet, but she'll just lose it suddenly when she's in, in with the other horses. She'll be very quiet and calm, and then all of a sudden she'll just go, Ugh, and chuck a complete wobbly. She, she kind of holds things in. So that's a nice little de-escalation and finish up for her. We'll go back to the round yard. And we'll... Good girl. She knows they've got some feed over there too. So we'll go back to the round yard and let her have a release over there. And um, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll. Just wait. Good girl. Good job. Good job. Good girl. We need to fix that gate. It's actually dangerous the way it is. We'll go nice and quietly over to the yard. Good girl. Good job. So, it's not a big workout, but it's definitely 
worth doing and enjoyable for her. Um, and we're going to stop right there. Good girl. Pull this out. Get her in here so I can put the others away and then she can have the yard to herself, which is how it normally is. Oh, come on, bub. Good girl. I'll take everything off. Give her a nice release. Good job. Back up, bub. Back up, bub. Good job. So I'm pleased with her today because I know what was going on earlier with the other mare. So the fact that she's, you know, gotten over a little tantrum with her and allowed me to actually work with her is a nice thing. She's done very well and she's um, not done bad at all today.